Hey guys, welcome back. So in this video, we're going to talk about the method of variation of parameters. So this method is the most general method for solving a second order non-homogeneous equations. So let's dive in. All right, so let's work out this example. So we want to compute the general solution for this non-homogeneous differential equation. It's a second order. So let's write down how the general solution would look like. So we know the general solution, it's going to be y equals u times y1 plus v times y2, where y1 and y2 are the solutions to the homogeneous equation. And u is given by this formula, negative integral of g times y2 over a times the Ronskian dt. And V is given by the formula integral of G times Y1 over A times Ronskian dt. Now, these formulas, make sure you know them. And there is a proof on how to derive this formula. Feel free to look at those videos if you're interested. So now let's go ahead and compute. So first, we're going to find the solution to the corresponding homogeneous equation. So let's call that YH. So we're going to set g of t, t0. This is our g of t. So we have y double prime plus 4y is equal to 0. And we have the characteristic as r square plus 4 is equal to 0. And then if you subtract 4 and then take the square root of it, you get r is equal to plus and minus 2i. So we have an imaginary uh, root to this polynomial. So our solution to the homogeneous is going to be uh, cosine and sine. So C1 cosine of 2t plus C2 sine of 2t. So we have the homogeneous solution. Now let's go ahead and label which one is y1 and y2. So I'm going to just choose this function to be called y1, this function to be called y2. You can switch them around however you like, but I'm going to stick to this uh, way of labeling. Now we're going to go ahead and compute the Ronskian. And keep in mind this a is the coefficient in front of your y double prime. In this case, it's 1. So a is 1. So let's go ahead and compute the Ronskian. So the Ronskian of the solution y1, y2, it's this determinant we have cosine of 2t, sine of 2t, and then derivatives on the second row. So we have negative 2 sine 2t, and then 2 cosine 2t. That will be the setup for the round scan. And now we go ahead and find the determinant of this. So we have 2 cosine square 2t plus 2 sine square 2t. And we know that is going to be equal to 2 because if you factor out a 2, you'll be left with cosine squared 2t plus sine squared 2t, which is simply just 1 from trig identity. All right, so we have the Ronskian, we have y1 and y2. Now we're ready to use these formulas to figure out u and v. Once we have them, we plug it into our general solution right here. So let's go ahead and do that. So u is going to be the integral, negative integral of g. g in this case is 16 secant squared 2t. Let's go ahead and write that out. 16 secant squared of 2t times y2. Remember y2 was sine of 2t all over a times Ronsky and a is 1. Ronsky and is 2 dt. And now we just need to integrate this using any technique that's applicable. So now let's think about how we can integrate this. So um, I'm just going to go ahead and rewrite secant squared 2t as 1 over cosine square of 2t. So we have the integral and then I can also pull out the negative 8. So let's just rewrite. We have sine of 2t on top. And on the bottom, we have cosine square of 2t dt. And now we can make a substitution 
and solve this integral. So let's make a W substitution. So if I let W equals to cosine 2t, then my the derivative of W is going to be negative 2 sine 2t dt. Okay, not so bad. So we can actually rewrite the integral in terms of W. So negative 8, I can just rewrite that 4 times 2. So we have a 4 integral of 1 over W dW. And we know that is equal to ln of absolute value of W plus a constant C1. Okay, so that's what U is equal to. Now let's just substitute back what W was. So U is eventually just 4 times ln of cosine of 2t plus c1. So that's what u is equal to. Now the only piece we have left to finish computing is v, and we know v is given by the integral g y1 a times w dt. So y1 is cosine 2t, so let's plug those in. So v is going to be Let's set up that integral. So V is now going to be the integral G of Y1 over A times W dt. And this would be the integral of, so we know G is equal to 16 secant squared 2t, Y1 is cosine 2t, and the round skin is 2. Let's substitute those. So we have 16 secant square of 2t cosine 2t over a is 1, or runs again is 2 dt. And this would give us 8 outside the integration, secant square and uh, cosine 2t. So I can rewrite secant as 1 over cosine. So we have cosine 2t over cosine the square of 2t dt and you can see one of the cosines will cancel out so this is a nice simple integration so we have one over cosine uh, of 2t dt and now you can integrate this by rewriting cosine as secant so we have eight integral of secant of 2t dt and you should know by now the integration of secant from calculus this is equal to, so this would be 8 times 1 half ln of absolute value of secant 2t plus tangent of 2t. So that's straight coming out from calculus knowledge and we add a constant of c2. So if you need to reveal how to integrate secant of x, please do that. That way the integration becomes simpler when you're doing these type of problems. So this is the expression we have now for v. And of course I can write 8 over 2 as just 4. So let me do that as well. So this will simply be just 4 ln of all of that. Okay. So now if we put all of this together, we have our general solution. So the general solution we said is going to be y equals u times y1 plus v times y2. So we have y is equal to u. u happen to be this piece right here for ln of cosine 2t. So we have 4 ln of cosine of 2t plus c1 times y1, which was cosine 2t plus v, which we just found, that's 4 ln secant 2t plus tangent of 2t, all of it times y2, which was sine of 2t. Mm -hmm. So now if I just distribute, I can rewrite the general solution in a nicer way. So we have y is equal to 4 cosine 2t ln of cosine 2t plus c1 cosine 2t 
So we have, oh, looks like I forgot uh, my constant for the last piece. I apologize. So I'm supposed to have plus C2 here. So plus C2 and the negatives distributed. So okay, now I'm ready to write down. So I'm going back to where I was. I was distributing cosine 2t. So we have C1 cosine 2t plus, now we distribute sine 2t to everything inside. So we have four sine 2t times ln of secant 2t plus tangent of 2t plus C2 sine of 2t. Now you see here, you can simplify this a little bit more if you want, but I'm gonna go ahead and stop right here and just show you where the homogeneous solutions are and the particular solution. So if you notice this piece and this piece, these are the homogeneous solution. And then the remaining piece, which is this one and this one, these are the particular solution. So we have the general solution particular plus the homogeneous. And we were able to obtain this by doing variation of parameters. All right, so um, hopefully this example makes sense. I know they are pretty long, but with practice, you can always get better. So until next time, see you then.